So you're something of a regular at McCarran Park. I am. I kill a lot of time here. Yeah. I like being outside. And also, like, I, you know, the city is, oh my god. Yeah, it so is, oh my god. So many people. There's a lot of people. The park is a very easy sanctuary. A respite. Yes. Did I pronounce respite correctly? You didn't. Okay. This amazing movie that you're in, Fort Tilden. I really liked it. Thank you. Like, a lot. Thanks. And you know, both the, both the, the lead ladies are kind of terrible, but your character in particular <laughs> is awful. Yeah. So what did you connect to um, in this awful person? I, I think I connected to her insecurity, to the, you know, the constant, I think my generation in particular, we have sort of this this Facebook sort of race to for goals, you know, it's like, oh, that this person's engaged, this person's doing this, and I think it's all kind of reinforced by the idea that we all watch each other on there, and we don't, we don't really think about it, but we're all looking and scanning each other's lives, kind of, and I think this movie kind of addresses this in this small way. These people kind of like, oh, you know, trying to make something of themselves and. Uh, also just being stuck. Where do you match up? What's going on with you that... That makes that, me... Yeah, that makes that be something that you feel personally. I think in New York, <clears throat> like, you feel that way a lot of the time. When you're not, especially when nothing's happening for you, which is most of the time, like, you're doing your thing, but it doesn't feel like it's leading anywhere, but you're trying and you just kind of feel... Uh, upset by other people's success but you're not upset but you are and this character you know she really kind of fumes on other people's success you know it bothers her that people have found their thing and she hasn't found her thing what are your thoughts on this uh, a generation branded as people who feel entitled mm -hmm. Well, I think entitlement is hard to explain, as opposed to being what was the what was the other term that we privileged. Were privileged. I mean, just feeling like you should have, you should get results before doing the hard work, I guess. Right. And I think these these characters definitely don't do the hard work, and instead of doing the hard work, they criticize other people for doing the work women in particular, ladies of this generation, are getting a lot more attention as these type of people. You take a hit show, Emmy Award winning HBO show, Girls, which has, I'm sure, filmed in this park that we're in right now. Um, we see a lot of young women in their 20s dealing with how to put in the hard work, whether to put in the hard work, and not knowing the steps to do it. Are women being depicted in the right way in order to talk about these subjects. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I think it's good to be putting shows out there, movies out there, where you don't necessarily like the people. And these people are awful people because there's so many, there's a million shows featuring guys where you're like, oh, these guys are assholes, but I love them. And I think it's, you know, it's kind of, we're in an era where that's happening more with women and that's awesome. Um, and I think there's different shades to be shown. I don't think it's, you know, we've put out an archetype yet that's completely all encapsulating, but I don't think that's, you know, one singular thing. I think there's a million other, you know, sides to women that we haven't seen on film or on TV. Um, I think it's great. I think all of it is wonderful.